Tampa. Today is the graduation of the students for the Junior Sous Chefs of America here in Tampa. It's very exciting. These are the future culinarians, and I think we should support them. I think you should support them. Uh, information will be in the description. Come on, let's go check out and see what's going on. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce the graduating class of JCOA. The So I am with the executive director of the Junior Sous Chefs of America, Miss Dina Taylor. Yes. Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> All right, so congratulations on tonight. Thank you, um, thank you. You got a packed house in there. Yes. You got a lot of uh, a lot of graduates in yes, there. Yes, a lot. We have seven graduates. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about overwhelmed, that? excited? I'm so honored. This has been the the dream of our life. We've been working with this program for over three years, and to see it actually come to life, it's a dream come true. We're we're amazed. We can't get enough. The chefs are all eager. They're inside. They just got uh, treated by Chef Michael, who's a chocolatier who literally took nothing and made a gorgeous sculpture and a chocolate crown. The yeah, kids' we mouths that. were like this. Dina, look, I saw you, uh, I saw that you were like kind of butterflying around the room. You still got a lot to do in there. Well, next we're getting ready to crown our children, our teens, so I say. They're getting ready to get their awards. After they finish what they're doing now, the kids are in there now actually cooking their own meal. They are, um, sharing what they've learned over all the five weeks of this course. So it's now time for you to start the clock and the clock begins. My name is Dominic, Dominic Sotillo. All right, Dom, what do, we, uh, what do we have here? So basically here I put together a chicken and angel hair pasta um, pretty much I used what the ingredients that was brought to me. Like I said, they had a, a oh, what's called a mystery box. So basically, the, I didn't really know the ingredients, but I just went with what I knew, which was you know, good cooking always helps if you know how to use your ingredients. So this looks interesting. What do we have here? What's your name? My name is Javen Lee Count. And basically pretty much what you have here is some rice, some salad on the side, and some chicken with a peach and sun-dried tomato garnish. The reason I combined the peach and the tomato together is because they're both sweet. So when I broke them down into the pot, it made a good glaze for my food. All right, so we're with Holly. Um, what do we have here? Well, uh, we have chicken and pasta uh, drizzled with mango sauce um, and also vegetables, of course. <laughs> so I cooked the chicken with the vegetables so they would evenly cook. And uh, when I drizzled the mango sauce, I took it from the can and I made sure none of the mangoes would get on it because that would be physical contamination. Jason, this looks yummy, man. What did you do? What, what do I have here? Right, so 
It's um, a pasta with uh, chicken marinated alongside with a peach syrup. All right, so this is a jam. What do we got? What's your name? I'm Victoria. Victoria, and what did you make today? I made cilantro rice with peach sun-dried tomatoes and uh, lemon chicken. It's refreshing. With a bed of spinach, yeah. What was your inspiration? I didn't really have an inspiration. Well, maybe for the cilantro rice because I've seen cilantro rice at other restaurants. Chef Noah. Right? Tell me that's not a chef's name. All right, um, you're, uh, you're 15, you love to cook, your parents let you actually make food at the house. Yes. Scary, I get yeah. it. Um, so congratulations today on the graduation. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What do I have here? It uh, looks pretty good. Uh, it is co uh, coconut rice with a peach salsa and um, roast uh, pan fried chicken. You are the future. Yes. And the, and the industry needs you. Yeah. And congratulations again. Thank you. Good luck in your career. We will stay in contact, young man. Okay, thank you. Cheers. So, I'm with Rayma here at the Junior Chefs of America uh, graduation. What is this that looks yummy? What do you got? Chicken Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo? Mm -hmm. Awesome. What was the inspiration? Well, I was trying to work with what we had in our mystery box and I was like, well, I could just bring some sauce, fix it up, and it'll make it something quick in our time span. Mm -hmm. How do you think it is? It was pretty good. It was better when it was warm. I wish you could have got a plate when it was hot. <laughs> it may not be hot, but it is yummy. And I do appreciate it. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So we are here with the uh, certified chef instructor um, Sean Mason, chef. Really beautiful event, man. Thank you, thank you. We worked hard for our kids to get this done. They worked hard. They probably burned up some things and messed up mom's kitchen, but <laughs> they had a good time and I had a great time teaching them. All right, so I am with Team Junior Chefs of America. Um, Ashley, Chef Ashley Sims, yes. Program, Executive Program Director. Executive Program Director here. Right, for mm -hmm. the school. Hey, congratulations, uh, everybody. Thank you Thank so you. much. Who, uh, who's here? So here we got Chef Sean, Chef Karen, that's Chef Keith, and that's Chef Charlene right there. So listen, um, what's next for uh, what's the, what's the next for school? So the next for the school is going to be our um, our regular semester. It always starts in September. Um, that's going to be ages four to thirteen year olds. Um, we're going to do our Saturday program. So every Saturday, pretty much uh, starting in September, we'll have our kids cooking classes. They usually start around nine o'clock in the morning. They end at eleven. Uh, the kids come in. We do a two hour class with them, and that is what's our next big thing we got going. Our school year is about to start September. That is awesome. I'm going to put that information in the description so people can find you. Again, thanks for having us out here. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for being here with Congratulations us. Congratulations again, guys. Thank you.